Come on up on over. You're good. There you go. Look, I gave you a present. That's a good puppy dog. Now I want my present back. So, uh... There you are. I'm gonna say. Over to medicinals, we have eight more preps, so that leaves 16 total doses available to us. We have three dressings prepared, as well as four bandages. We still have those two antibiotics, and we got four uh, teas available. Yeah, we really need, do need to start pushing out, though, because um, we are gonna be running out of equipment. Why am I so heavy? Oh, yeah, water. I'm, I'm, I was confused for a second. I was like, I get so heavy? Oh, plus I'm carrying this on me at all times. I don't need to be. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. Let's drink our good health and rest through the night. And then the decision will be... Well, we'll have to see what morning brings first before we decide what our goal for the day is going to be. There are multiple things I can do. I could hunt another wolf. Um, oh, fully rested? Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. All right, so we'll check our deer hides. Got one cured. Oh, 67% and 16. Plus the one that's in here. It's Cabanato. It's Cabanato? Yeah, this one. Alright, so materials wise, that gets us two. Oh, I need to put those back too, huh? Alright, let's put these back. Yeah, I got plenty of rose hips still. We can make way more if we need to. Alright, um, wolf, 93, cured, and 30, oh, 39. Moose hide's coming real quick, though. 93. I don't know how long, how does the, long does the satchel take to make? We're gonna be burning ourselves hard. 10 hours? Oh, it's not bad. Alright, um, so we could kill another, mm, or we could go on a materials hunt. Yeah. It's like a tough game to ask ourselves as to what we really need to be doing. Two. Awesome. <sighs> Go on a materials hunt. If it's warm enough, we can bust a log up. Or we can hunt a, hunt a wolf if he's here. If we get in shelter, it might be warm enough outside of wind chill to bust a log up. Otherwise, we're going to be popping a wolf in the head. This bait. Nice and smelly little bait. Pretty sure this wolf should be back by now. It's been enough days. I'm expecting him to be back. I'm kind of like... Iffily hoping he's not back though. Yeah, we really need these clothing items, man. We're going to be getting burned hard soon. Without him, we're behind the curve. Not as bad as I would expect. Um, I'm honestly, I was honestly expecting us to be way behind the curve. But we're not bad. Well, I lie. We are bad because it's not as if we're beginning crafting them right now. We just have the materials available. They're just curing. The deer skin equipment, we're waiting on one more deer hide. What was that one at? 69%, so 70%. So a day and a half more, and we can get deer skin uh, britches first pair. No immediate sightings of wolves, which is beneficial. We could always go to check up there. I'm pretty sure that thing's entirely cleaned out because it is Loper. But. Alright. We do have a wolf. So I think the. Hmm. Will wolf notice me? Wind's heading towards us. So we are um, downwind of him. He's upwind of us. He may not notice us. Which I greatly appreciate if that's the case.
Of course, I still want to hunt another wolf, so if he does notice us... Oh, he's totally noticed us. At least he's caught wind of us. Hmm, where's a decent spot to deal with this at? Probably down this way. Depends on which way the wolf's chasing us from. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. What's up? This is actually a decent spot. Hey. Hi. What's up? I want you where I can see you. Come over that little hillock. Come on up and over. You're good. There you go. Look, I gave you a present. That's a good puppy dog. Now, I want my present back. So, uh... Oh! Ow! That's painful! Right in the old eye! Yeah, I, I feel like I would die too if that happened. Alright. Uh, let's go collect fuel! Bring all our remaining sticks and other fuel sources over. We're gonna be getting another wolf hide. Seven degrees outside. It's not terrible. Midday. Hmm. I mean, it is terrible, though. It's not even windy and it's that cold. Yeah, we're, we're definitely behind. I'm only at 40% with that next wolf height. Oh, out of seven days. Oh, that's rough. I mean, we have the food stocks available. We could honestly... Go to like. We could try Milton. It would require coffee planning. Yeah, it'd be difficult to hit, pull off Milton because we'd be stuck there for several. Yeah, no. That's honestly not the greatest idea. We need to get the craftings done. means we need to stay here. Such a gamble all the way around. Um, I feel like... What day is it? I'm willing to check real quick. 32... Yeah. We've got 18 more days. That's my self-imposed limit. We have to summit by day 50. We've got 18 more days. How do I feel about that? Uh, let's collect the fuel. I'm okay with using that cedar we have. Alright, what does that leave us with? 45 sticks, one book, and 22 or two cedar firewoods. Should be enough. I mean, all we're really trying to get is the hide in the guts. Like, we don't need a, a huge bonanza of a fire. Just in case we encounter another um, creature of the furry kind. Load up on another piece of bait. That was a beautiful shot. Alright, let's see if this wolfie pal's under here, because if he is, we'll take him too. I'll get two more wolf hides. I don't think he's back yet, though. One more day, maybe? I'm gonna go ahead and say one more day. I know I've been saying, like, one more day, one more day, one more day, but... Try to remember when we last killed him. That's going to determine when he respawns. Of course, as we keep repetitively killing him, it'll take longer and longer for him to respawn, which is nice. If we keep doing cooking the way we're doing cooking, though, we're going to hit level 5 soon. We can begin eating wolf meat as well. That was one of the biggest, and in, in my opinion, one of my most favorable um, balance changes Hinterland did do was adjusting cooking to you can uh, to add the addition of intestinal parasites, because that was always just something that was free food. Wolves are going to constantly be attracted to you. They're relatively easy to deal with once you have aiming mechanics and such down. 
And so when, once you've reached that kind of point, like wolves are literally free meals. They're meals on wheels. That's what I typically used to call used to call them was meals on wheels. Um, but then they added intestinal parasites. So you got to get cooking level five before you can eat them. So they're no longer an early game source of food, which has gone a massive ways in balancing the early game. Oh, this wind's coming up. All right, wind, give us a location. He's kind of in the open. All right, so we gotta hope we get warm enough. Counts the sucker. Maglan's book, start fire, go. Yeah, that was my old nickname for wolves, was Meals on Wheels. No longer quite so apt anymore. Um, although bunnies are now really Meals on Wheels, though they're not really meals, they're more snacks. Snacks on tracks. That's what we'll call bunnies, is snacks on tracks. Um, because... I'm willing to go ahead and chunk that sucker on. Oh, we just up... Oh, yes! Get rid of you. I no longer need tinder. Guess what? We just hit fire starting level 3, baby! No longer need tinder. Where's cooking? Cooking's oh so close to 4. We can smash open any more cans we find. Alright, let's get the water cooking. Only 26? Oof. No, I don't want to take a torch, but okay, I'll have one. Uh, sticky dues. Gets me to... That'll get me warm enough, yes. Stupid wind, alright. Hmm, we didn't bring any food along. How many calories? 400? Okay. We got a little time. I may have to snack a bit. Um. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, there's the wind. There goes my fire. We gotta pan it out for 23 more minutes, though. Is this not enough to blow a fire out? Seems odd. I feel like this should be more than enough to be blowing my fire out. Enough to be freezing me. Okay, apparently my fire's fine with this amount of wind. Which is odd. Ah, it's not now. Sad day. Alright, well we got some more bait. Alright, I'm out. Peace! <laughs> no, you can't drop any of this gear. Don't worry about it. We just gotta get home. We need these, we need that wolf skin coat so bad. So, 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 so bad. I can't even stay outside long enough to collect fuel. We're going through fuel so fast. Oh. So I think next time I do a next interloper run we do, I'm going to change the way I tuned it, um, my place down, which we're going to be discussing in upcoming guide videos. Ha ha. But I'm gonna change. I'm gonna retune my playstyle a little bit. I'm gonna keep what I've been doing so far. That's making these runs successful, uh, which is the rate of speed at which I am progressing in the first ten days. Um, that that bit has been super crucial, um, and we've been doing really well with that. So I'm gonna keep that up. But what I'm going to change is, after I get tools, like really for tools or free fires. Anytime we come across the deer carcass and the weather is decent enough instead of passing it off as ah oh, we can wait till later for those. No, I'm getting those deer carcasses started immediately. Um, as soon as we have the ability for a wolf skin coat, what I did here is I went for the moose first before wolves. And while that's helpful because the moose was here and that keeps us fed, um, or it did keep us fed for a long time, it also has the massive drawback of that much processing time. I think that was like three whole days worth if not more. 
um, was wasted per se. I mean, it's not wasted, it's just exchange. We exchanged three days of processing time for that instead of... Instead of these guys. Alright, where's that moose meat? There it is. What's the other one? I'm gonna have to leave something behind. There'd be two things. There it is. There's the other moose meat. Alright, let's eat both of those. Let's step inside because it's frigid out here. Holy cow. Alright, sheath the bow. Drop the guts and the wolf pelt. And put away whatever fuels we didn't use. Ends up being just that. Okay, we have a book we can finish reading. Got way more than enough water still. Let's check hides completion. 20% on you, but we don't need you. 71%, okay. So tomorrow we can begin the deerskin boots. Oh wow, you're full. Okay, we have more than enough guts for everything. Um... Hoodie to break down. Got lots of things we can spend time doing indoors. I just hate spending that. 95, 42. So yeah, we're still 40%. Ugh, so close to half. Alright, well, anyway. Uh. We're literally just waiting on this deer hide. And then we can start, and by the time we finish that one. This wolf pelt will be done. We can sig into that. So I'll be spending our time doing that. That'll be decent. We, we can handle that. Um, I'm okay with leaving it that way. It's not the most optimal. Obviously, we're at day 32, or is it we have to 33 now? We're just on day 32. Um... Yeah, we've been all through Coastal Highway. I guarantee you we haven't gotten all of the things out of Coastal Highway. But we started at Pleasant Valley. And then bam, we were instantly here. So yeah, there's a lot in Pleasant Valley to still get. Uh, there's still close. We still have um, Desolation Point too. 18 days. Crafting times. If I really want to do Summit in 18 days, what the route's going to end up looking like is Deerskin Pants. Wolf skin coat, jet to timber wolf, um, boosting up the mountain with all the fuel we can. Um, I'm not going to give a crap about that because as soon as we make it to the top, boom, we can just skate right back down. Bounce the heck out of timber wolf, get back, reset back here at Mystery Lake. Um, hopefully before we leave, um, we can have enough wolf skin pelts drying or at least close to enough for a secondary coat. That by the time we get back, we can have the that pelts get the second coat done. With second coat, um, maybe we'll have by that point enough deer hides, depending on how many deers we kill for food through that. We'll head to Desolation Point to clear that out. We'll get two wolf hides out of there, maybe, um, by crossing the gauntlet. Oh, the gauntlet. Get out of Desolation Point. I don't ever want to return there again in this interloper run. Head up to Milton um, and trounce out Milton. We already got four line muskeg. I have no intentions of honorably visiting Broken Railroad until much later on if we dare decide to do that. There's HRV, which I don't even know if it's worth doing. But anyway, that's all for this episode. I've been Lonely Wolf. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, as always, stay safe and stay warm out there.